What's going on YouTube? GSNO right here. So in today's video, we're going to discuss a vulnerability that Pango has discovered in a big number of applications on iOS, and I'm going to discuss why is this important. So just a few days ago, they posted this on their Twitter, quote, we confirmed several iOS apps with more than 100 million users are vulnerable to zipper down and found more than 10k iOS apps might have the same or similar issues. Check zipperdown.org and contact us for details and fix if your app is in the list. Now, at that point in time, I didn't believe this was that huge of a deal until yesterday a former jailbreaker in our community, Chronic, said this, quote, I have sent a listing of over 1,000 American and Western apps potentially affected by Zipper down to Pangu, so they may contact those developers and fix the problem for all users. John has posted on Twitter, quote, Zipper down is a path traversal in Zip Archive, and he also posted a link to a write-up. So at this point, we know that the Zipper down, very well named actually, since it's a vulnerability in um, Zip Archive is actually a pretty powerful vulnerability and it's actually affecting a lot of applications. Pango has made this website in here in which you can check out the bundle identifier of the applications and the name of the applications to see if, uh, for example, a specific application that you're using is affected by this. And if, for example, you search for Weibo, um, you can see here that there are indeed applications and Weibo is actually uh, vulnerable to this and you can check out in here the name of your application and look to see if it's in the list there are actually quite a lot of applications over 15k entries or 16k entries so yeah it's definitely possible that one of the apps you are using is vulnerable to this now what if it's vulnerable to this what happens well pango gives more details in here it's apparently even compatible with android although there are cases and cases and it appears to be a very, very typical programming error that you wouldn't expect to find that much in the applications, but it is. And apparently it says in here, quote, what can zipper down do? It depends on the affected app and its privileges. In general, attackers could overwrite the affected app's data or even gain code execution in the context of the affected app. Note that sandbox of both iOS and Android can effectively limit zipper down's consequences. So it's a pretty powerful one. It can modify your data and it's pretty powerful if the application you're using is handling any sensitive information especially if it's handling it over unencrypted forms and it also says in here how to exploit zipper down quote it also depends on the affected apps the most typical scenario is via traffic hijacking and spoofing which is something that actually doesn't require you to have you know a jailbreak or to go in depth and modify that application you can actually do it remotely via traffic hijacking which is definitely bad so yes you can go ahead and check your applications in here if you know their bundle identifier or you know their name you can simply go ahead and search for them for example i don't know if you search for youtube you can see that the youtube application is not in the list but the tube player if you're using it is in the list so it's vulnerable to this uh, zipper down thing. Now, I'm not entirely sure um, when it's going to be fixed or if it's already fixed, but the issue in here that has been started by this developer over seven days ago is still open on GitHub. And it's pretty much the um, information about this zipper down thing, the path traversal. On Weibo, you can actually find a vulnerability uh, proof of concept and a vulnerability write-up, but unfortunately is in Chinese. And if you show the original you cannot understand anything and if you show the translated page you can't understand anything either because you know Google doesn't translate very well the Chinese but you can get an idea on what's going on and how you can replicate this thing so anyways yes it's a good idea that Pangu decided to mention this publicly and hopefully the developers of this 16k applications that are actually vulnerable to this will fix their applications in order to stop the zipper down vulnerability from spreading anyways you can check out more about this vulnerability which is also affecting iOS and Android in the description down below Thank you for watching, I'm Gio Snow, until the next time, peace out.